Greetings. Today I'm going to talk about how to do your analysis using structure software. Maybe you are doing uh, some studies on genetic diversity and population structure. You may need to use uh, this structure software. First, uh, we need to have our uh, genotypic or SNP data and uh, convert it into a format that structure software uh, uses effectively. Um, I've got my R here and uh, I need to uh, I need to import some data. Uh, I have this data here as my SNP data or genotypic data and I've imported it into R and called GenoData and then if you want to view this GenoData you you can view it here. It's hub map data you can see. It has a lot of uh, a nucleotide A, C, G, T, you see. And uh, uh, across the columns, these are samples. And uh, down the rows, these are just, uh, uh, these are uh, loci. So uh, that, that's the data that we have. And um, this data, we are going to convert it into numeric data. We change it from hub map data to numeric data, which I found uh, works well in structure software. Uh, we are going to use this Capit uh, package, just to load it in the library. Then we change this hub map data, which is Gino, Gino data, which is in hub map, hub map formats, and we put the output to be numerical, and we call it data zero. So when you run this, data zero will come and give you this, come with these columns. This GD, this is a, a, a numeric data. GM, this is a genetic map data, which has chromosomes, chromosome positions. And G, this is a hub map data, and this it uh, makes a kinship matrix here. So we are going to extract this GD, which is our uh, numeric data that we want. So we extract it using this data zero, uh, this column GD, then we call it data. When you run that, you'll get this data here. Now you see uh, down the down the rows is the samples and uh, across the columns these are the loci and now this data has been coded into numeric data which is 0, 1, 2 where 0 and 2 are homozygotes and 1 is a trozygotes and then we have this column here which we don't want we remove it now that's how we convert this data into from hub map into numeric so the next thing we can do now we can change we can check if we have duplicates you may get that you have duplicates in your sample and uh, we check that using this this here but we are going to use uh, this data here which we extracted this numeric data and call it uh, and data new data so after checking that you just look at the dimension and see if there were some duplicates which were removed Next, we are going to use to remove the first column of N data, which is column one. N data is just like this. This first column, which we don't want, is the one which we are removing. You remove it, and we call it N data one. And uh, uh, from there, we can save N data one as a, a CSV file and name it STR data, which stands for structure structure data you use this rate.csv and it will go direct into your working directory and save itself as str data.csv now next what we do we follow to find this str data is here we can open it now this is our data you see across the columns these are loci and down here the rows these are uh, samples or genotypes that you have. So this is uh, our data that we can use in uh, structure software. 
first we save it as a text as a text uh, uh, we save it as a text file we choose that save it as a text a text file okay you can see we have saved it as a text file next what we do is to go to structure software and open the software then we come to file new project we call the project like uh, uh, tutorial and uh, we choose the directly you come here and choose the directory where you want your work to be stored you select your directory okay want it this worker and then you choose the file you come here choose the file which we we had this here you select and move next here you will need to fit the number of individuals and the number of loci you click show data file format you see we have two lines here 191 and one line so this one line has less columns compared to this so when it comes to number of loci we use 16383 this one which less columns and 9191 individuals so let's 16383 16383 and 191 uh, uh, individuals so 191 lines is the number of individuals and 16383 those are columns for this kind of data deployed put one then move to next everything here put one next Everything here one finish proceed. So this has been loaded here successfully. Now it means we are uh, successful. Now the next thing is to set the parameters. We set new parameters. So these are two important parameters the length of panning period and number of reps after panning. So most people efficiently put 10,000 as length of panning and hundred thousand hundred as, uh, as reps after panning however this will take a long time for the purpose of demonstration let us put 10 and 100 and you click ok give the name of this parameter call it a test click ok then come project start job it will you, you select this parameter test here which you wanted then put maybe k from 1 to 10 this is the number of groups which you want to test from group 1 to 10 then replication you can put it 2 or 3 then you start the job so now you see it's, it's running it will put number of k's here as you can see the job is completed structure has finished running click ok and this one ok these are the k we have that we, we set k1 to k10 and uh, we have three uh, replications each k is replicated three times however i want to say that this analysis it's not reliable because you know the bindings we just placed a very small number Bindings will be around 10,000 and uh, uh, reps after burning will be around 100,000. But this was for demonstration purposes. Now we can, for example, we can f do a few things here. For example, we can check k is equals to 5. We, if we scroll down, k is equals to 5, you'll find here this is a Q, our Q matrix. Uh, a structure matrix you can see that we have five groups here one two three four and five because k is equals to five this is the q matrix which most of the time we copy and use it for association studies it's used as a covariate in association studies and uh, after doing this 
we can go back now and uh, s look at the folder where we saved our work no you just go to here we will go to tutorial test what we had and these are our results you you convert it to a compressed folder which is a zip you zip it here zipped now you come to type structure first uh, go here uh, we were where here tutorial test Yes, the results here you 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 then harvest so it has finished doing analysis you come down here this is interesting it's telling us that we have only two two groups that are are optimum for this population on uh, this is attributed to the fact that we used very low number of burn-ins. Instead of 10,000, we used 10. So you can download this and, and use it. For demonstration, we used burn-ins, number of burn-ins to be 10, and reps after burn-ins to be 100. So I want to tell you that in the, if, when you want to do this kind of analysis, the number of panels make it uh, approximate to be around 10,000 and the number of reps after panels makes it to be 100,000 but this one has just given us two but this result is not reliable because it's just for demonstration purposes so that is how we do this so you can download this and use it in your publication another thing i want to show you is uh, once you have got maximum number of groups you can uh, you can copy you come here if there are four just say case equals to four and then use this as your Q matrix copy it this one here from some one up to, to 191 here you copy it And then you can paste it in a you, know, you take a, a notepad and uh, just paste it here in the notepad. After save it in the naughty part uh, this is a uh, ABN let's call it ABN and save it this is the Q matrix which you can use it has four populations one it has four groups one two three four and uh, next you can uh, you can come to if you found four k is equals to first time optimum number of groups. You can plot the uh, you can plot the uh, pie chart. You just you just click pie plots and show. You can make according the way you want. You see like this one. one two, three. These are four one two. Three, four, and uh, then you can save it if you want and use it wherever you want to save it. You can make a, a tree plot, sure. It's going to show you. See, it's, it's four, I don't know. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Number one, two is very closely related. 
and uh, you can also save this for you to use if you want ah this is a neighbor joining tree and i think that's uh, that's enough that's how we do these things um maybe i show you how to to get your structure data well so uh, you remember we saved it as abn if you open apn you can't use this uh, um, while it's like this you have to do some editing here the best way to do this editing is just to to do it here and you call it maybe population structure abn.text the reason why i put fill is equals to true I want you to see if I uh, uh, just roll that and if I want to view that you see um, sometimes it brings a lot of problems if it it does not show you this uh, these columns that's when you you put uh, fill uh, is equals to true or T and you do that if you do that it's the same thing which happens it comes like this so we save this as csv so that you can remove these columns columns this one this one this one the one which you don't want and call it the q matrix you, you this is the pop structure this pop structure that we we had uh, imported then you write out csv pop structure but you call it q matrix csv you you run that and we have q matrix csv here you go there q matrix csv here from here you can edit you can just remove this that you don't want this columns that you you don't want so remaining this this one so this can be Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Then you can save this and use it in your association studies as a covariate. Uh, it's my hope that this tutorial was helpful to someone. And thank you very much.